Hello everyone, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm once again, as we have yet another hero added to the roster. This time from, of course, my favorite of the three franchises, StarCraft, and it's one of the Zerg, which, if you guys have uh, been checking out my playthroughs of StarCraft and StarCraft 2, you know that uh, the Zerg are probably my favorite race to play. And this is a character we met in the Heart of the Swarm campaign, a primal pack leader named Dehaka, one who collects. Cunning and wise, Dehaka is one of the last surviving pack leaders of the forgotten world of Zerus. As with all primal Zerg, he is driven by a powerful desire to consume the essence of his foes and evolve into newer and more deadly forms. So yeah, because of that, I kind of had an idea of what he might be. So first off, as usual, you know, obviously, we, if you've seen Heart of the Swarm, you know how he looks with this one arm, big arm here, this one tiny arm here, another missing arm on each side. It's pretty hilarious looking. So let's take a look at his skins. This is his basic look here. Uh, it's a tad bit different from how he looked in Heart of the Swarm, but uh, pretty much accurate compared to how he looked then. Here are the skin versions. White here. Green here. It makes him almost look like he's a Godzilla wannabe or something. His master skin, a uh, play on him actually, uh, you know, collecting essence and evolving, growing spikes, growing claws, things like that. You know, things I talked about in the campaign, so it makes sense. He's got this uh, same skin variation for each. Look at that. This definitely looks like a interesting version of Godzilla. It looks more like Space Godzilla, really. So that's kind of funny. And then here's a cool alternate skin, Mecha Dehaka. Look at this one. This is pretty cool. It's kind of like a Anubrax alternate uh, Mecha skin. Uh, you got that symbol there. You got this skin variation. It's blue. This next one, though, I love this one. Look at this. Look at that. Black and red. Oh, that looks so cool. I cannot wait to get him to eight so I can use that skin variation. Uh, yeah, th that's a pretty cool uh, skin choices for now. So the big question is, what are his abilities like? Well, there's a certain ability here that's not being shown here that, I, that I'm going to have to point out that uh, is a big factor about his character. So if he's, of course, a melee warrior. He's uh, His difficulty is medium, so he's not that hard to, uh, to get uh, used to. His abilities are, his first one is drag. Deals, uh, lashes out with your tongue, deals 160 damage to the first enemy hit, and drags them with you for 1.75 seconds. So, this is one of those kinds of abilities, if you're able to hit it onto a hero, it's a bit of a skill shot, but you can stun them, and you can drag them to a certain spot. So let's say you get someone like Morales, or if you're somehow able to get Li Ming, you can drag them closer to your teammates who can try and focus fire on her to finish them off. So it's a pretty useful ability. His W is Dark Swarm. Deals 60 damage a second to nearby enemies for 3 seconds and becomes able to move through units. Deals double damage to heroes. Can be cast during drag and burrow. So it's an AoE ability. It's pretty nice. Um, being able, you know, so for like certain uh, times you need AoE. Um, you know, because he is a melee warrior, that's pretty helpful. His E is burrow. Uh, burrow into the ground, entering stasis, and becoming invulnerable for 2 seconds. And like it said here, you can use Dark Swarm. Um, while you're burrowed. So, like, if someone uses a certain ability, you can use this to try and escape it. Like, um, for an example, if Kael'thas uses his, um, his ult that chases you and explodes, uh, you could use that. Um, other certain abilities, uh, that, uh, heroes try and use on you, you could use burrow to escape from that, because it makes you invulnerable. So it's a pretty useful ability. And then his trait is Essence Collection. Uh, killing enemy heroes or minions stores essence that so will heal over time when activated. So how this works is you gain 10 essence from takedowns and 2 essence from nearby enemies dying. You activate to consume all essence and heal yourself for 29 health over 5 seconds for each essence stored. You can hold a maximum of 50 essence. It can be cast during drag and burrow. So this is a pretty like se useful self-healing ability. So you go around, you uh, lane minions, you take down heroes, you store up to 50 essence... And then during a fight, if you're at like half health, you activate it to use consume that 50 essence, and you boom get a huge healing boost. But uh, you have to you, you know activate it like 
you know, pretty early on because if you activate too late, it's not going to be effective because they may kill you before it, you know, is useful. So it's a pretty useful trait, but you got to handle it properly. So his two, uh, you know, heroics, one is called Isolation, Launch Biomass that hits the first enemy hero, dealing 200 damage, silencing and slowing them for 30% for 3 seconds, only allows them to see a very short distance for 6 seconds. So, look at it. a silence, a slow, and it reduces vision. So, if you can hit this on someone, like Morales, or Li Ming, or, you know, someone to, that has a big factor for why your team could lose team fights, you hit this on them, it changes everything. And if your team is able to take advantage for those 3 seconds. Because uh, they can't even, it, it reduces their vision. So they can't see like their teammates or whatever. It's pretty awesome. His heroic, his other heroic sounds good, but it's actually not that great. Um, it's called Adaptation. After five seconds, heal for 60% of the damage that you took over this period. So yeah, this is, it sounds, you, you know, good if you're going to be a tanky, you know, self-healing warrior, you know. But the problem is, um, I mean, the cool thing about you is if you pick this, he grows his arms back. So that's pretty cool. But you have to activate it. You have to make sure you take a lot of damage during that time, and then you'll heal back. But it's very inconsistent. The Essence Collection is much more effective at doing that than this is. So this is kind of a, you know, I've, I've seen it. I've tried it. It's not nearly as effective as I thought it would be. It sounded cool. But it ends up being kind of inconsistent. So, honestly, Isolation is pretty much going to be, I think, going to be the go-to heroic for this character. So, now the big question. What is his talent tree like? So, from what I've, you know, I, he was on available for a week on the public test realm, which I played a few matches of him with. Oh, and by the way, there's one other ability he's got that is not shown here. It's his mount ability. So, I can't show it here, so let me go back here for a moment. Check this out. He can't use mounts. His mount abilities, get this, Brush Stalker. Burrow to a bush on the battleground, 40 seconds. Basically, he ha his mount ability is like Abathur's burrow, abil you know, burrow ability to go anywhere, almost anywhere on the map, except Abathur's is limited um, to vision. He can burrow to any bush or vent that's on the map. It's kind of broken. It's it, Think about how useful that is. And I mean any bush or vent on the map. Any of them. So if you need to get from one end of the map to the other, boom, you can do that. It does have a 40 second cooldown, but I'll address how you can fix that in just a moment. Back to his talent tree. So from what I've seen, I think the talent a build that I would probably be going with, uh, trying to make him a bit tanky, um because I'm sure some of these other ones are good, but I think uh, for my one talent, I would go with Tissue Regeneration. Uh, collecting 50 Essence permanently increases your health regeneration by 5 up to 50, because, of course, health regeneration, very important for a character like this, especially if you're going to try and make him a, a, you know, he is a warrior, if you're going to try and more, make him more tanky. Uh, here, I would probably go with one who collects. Increases essence collected from minions by 50%. It's much easier to collect essence from minions than it is from takedowns and heroes. Uh, because I've been in matches where it's been completely one-sided and there's, like, no takedowns. So, uh, here, you could, I, th I'm not sure. I might go with essence devourer, where you gather re regen globes to gain essence, but it kind of seems like a bit wasteful. Um, you could increase the drag duration by hat another half a second. The basic attacks re reduces his cooldown by one and a half seconds. Reduces the cooldown when you hit heroes. So, I think either of these could be more useful than this, actually. So, because honestly, there are times where I'm, you know, I haven't had to, like, use uh, my essence all that much. So, sometimes I'll be walking around with 50 essence, like, where I haven't had an opportunity to really use it. That's probably my uh, tendency to want to go address what's going on in other lanes as opposed to seeking out team fights. So... I'm not really sure. This is a this is a tough one for me to choose in my se between my seven talents. I'm not really sure which one I would go with. Uh, you know, at this point, I think I would pretty much go with isolation. Thirteen. Uh, there's really only one choice here because these two are kind of silly when it comes to the the brush stalker thing because it really 
<laughs> doesn't matter that much. But here it's pretty good. Uh, when you use uh, Dark swar uh, Swarm, it reduces the duration of silences, uh, stuns, slows, and roots against your hero while Dark Storm is active by 50%. So that's pretty useful. And here, uh, you could increase the range for drag by 20%. But I think I would go with Rapid Jet Regeneration. Burrow heals you. Just another way to get you s some more self-healing. Uh, so that when you burrow, you heal, uh, you get some more health back. Now here at 20, you could buff either of your heroics, obviously. Where Isolation splashes to nearby heroes. So it could, you could actually use isolation on multiple heroes. It, but, you know, obviously the circumstances have to be right where they're together in a group, um, you know, in a big team fight. You have to hope, hopefully, that they all are standing near each other so that it hits all of them. You could increase Adaption's healing, but uh, like I said, you know, by 125%. So that could be really good. But um, this is something I think you'd have to experiment with, you know, see how often you're going to be... Uh, in matches where you're taking a lot of damage, so. But here's the one that I think I would go with. Apex Predator. It reduces Brush Stalker's cooldown by 30 seconds and the cast time by half a second. So you can travel to any bush or vent every 10 seconds if you want. It reduces the cooldown to 10 seconds. That is ridiculously good. Especially late game. If you need to get from one end of the map to the other, you can boom, 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 boom. You know, just, you know, from one you know, one bush, and then another bush, and then another bush, you know, to all these different areas on the map, you know, and it obviously depends on the map and what's going on, because obviously also, but think about how useful this would be on another different type of character, like a specialist, like Gazlo, uh, to go around to all the different merc camps, you know, Dahaka's a melee warrior, so, um, you can imagine his damage won't be that good, um, but, uh, if you need to get to a team fight really quick, and you're on one side of the map, voom, you can do that, it's really cool. So now let's take a look at the Haka in action. We'll be uh, doing a versus AI match. We'll have it set to Adept this time. Let me turn up the audio now. There we go. When I first saw this Brush Stalker mount ability, my first uh, thought... Oh! Beaming, Sonya, Vala, and Navather. Blackheart's Bay, huh? Oh, and by the way, in case you couldn't tell from that, uh, it went to white and then fade to black. This is uh, the new... As with the uh, introduction to a new character, uh, there is a new major patch that came out for this. Um, 17.0, which is not just a new character. I may do a separate video on it, but, uh, like, they added a new feature to Ranked Mode Hero League. They, uh, added a new map here. I was hoping we'd get that, but I think it's only available in custom games. Um, but it's nothing really that special. It's, uh, one lane, and there's no objectives. It's, like, just beat the team and destroy their core. That's all it is. It's very simple. Uh, but several of the characters got huge changes. Um, you know, like Gazel got significant changes, Get Sylvanas, Illidan. The we shall drive so they did a lot of uh, changes to the game with uh, this patch. Will bring essence. I will follow. So let's see, the AI is Stitches, Kael'thas, Zagara, Murky, and Nova. So watch this. You know how you have a tendency to rush to this watchtower? Well, look at this. Z and... And just like that, I am there. Pretty awesome. Now, again, you see on the minimap, and I'll show you next... Point that out next time when I press Z. Forward. Look at our Lee Ming. Huh. There's my... Ah! Oh. Ah, he stunned me out of my drag. 
Look at that murky. Alright, so if I press Z, look at my mini map. Any bush on the map. Look at that. There's treasure on the docks. Be quick and grab it. Let's see if I can get him with my drag. Ah, I missed him. Almost have full 50 essence. 48. All right, let's heal. See that? Look at that healing. All right, let's go down here. And of course, we're going to get the first turn in. We're playing only Adept AI, so this could be a blowout. But then again, it's always nice to get a, a easy win. Seems we've reached an accord. Let's show your When you go through as, ma as many losses that you can go through in this game, sometimes it's just nice to get a win, no matter how how it is. How it comes about. Alright, so hmm. there we go. Wow. That AI Zagara really wanted me. Alright, let's go to the fountain. I love it. Let's go here. That's enough! We don't be working for free! I will collect. So he does actually you know relatively okay damage. I could see that uh, his basic attacks are doing like 133 damage, I think, so... So his damage is okay. You know, okay for what you'd expect from a warrior. Uh-oh. Trouble up top. My teammates might need me. What should I do? Oh, I know. Whoop. Instantly there. You see? So what I was saying earlier is that my ideal, like... Advantage for him, uh, you know, for this ability for the Haka, I thought, was uh, a map like Cursed Hollow, where let's say your your team is on one end of the map, but the tribute's on the other side. You could use Brush Talker to whoop, just get over to where uh, that tribute is, just really fast. I can try and get this camp by myself. Alright, so again, hmm. Let's uh let's let's do symbiosis. Oh, thanks for helping me out, Vala. There we go. I have the only two coins that our team has. Wow, the AI Murky is so silly, he won't put his mur his egg back down. Oh, hang on, Bala. I'll tank for you. You just provide the damage. See, look at that healing. Look at that healing that my essence collection did. That's right, you go heal up. Drag, there, there it is. Look at that drag, yeah! Oh, that had to hurt! With Abathur help me, yeah! That's his collection to heal!
Always nice to have a good Abathur hat on me. Ah! Too far away. But the range on on the Abathur hat is very limited. Heart destroy! Don't wait for me! Fire uh, isolation. There we go. Alright. I got Sonya out of my way. See, I love that. I love being able to go from one of the map to the other, just like that. And again, picture that at 20 with only, only a 10 second cooldown. Really, this creep that this AI cigar is playing. Now, to this vent right here. Look at that. I love that. It just makes his that ability just seem kind of broken. Huh? They're all paid up? Bah, who cares? Let's get to the fun part. <laughs> yeah, this Sonya and I have the right idea. We are thinking alike here. Help this Avatar push. Level 13. Whirling Dervish. Well, who's got the coin for these services? <laughs> ah. Oh, man, I got that. Man. All right. Isolation. Right, there we go. Got him. Ah! That's a collection heal! There we go, got that fountain. Yeah, got the fort! Ooh, the fort, this fort's about to go down. Ah! No! Alright. Collect some essence. Use my minions to help push this fort. Ah! Kelthus! Kelthus and Zagara! There we go. And now we have another turn in. Wonderful. Go to the fountain over here. Let's show your enemies a jolly good time. Keep ah, Murky. <laughs> Murky got me. Good adaptation. I collect your killing spree. Overwhelm these mercenaries. Overwhelm these mercenaries. I Oh, damn, Haka. I have missed you. I'm so glad you are in the Nexus now. Keep it up. I think we may push to win here now. Which, is, which would be a bit of a shame, but then again, that's... That's what I get for doing a uh, versus AI. I go. There's the, there's what Nova. A pirate without a little treasure. A good kill there. Double kill. Ah. Alright, Essence Collection, let's finish it off! And 
good game. Obviously a blowout because we were playing Adept AI, so. But uh, let's just say I was getting a little tired of one, the long queue times when new heroes are released, but also two, you know, really bad losses when I'm trying to show off or showcase, you know, what the character can do, what they're capable of. Um, my gray main video is a perfect example of that. I uh, am still, up, you know, upset about how I did that video. So, but uh, yeah, you know, I pretty much just went around and got coins or whatever. But you know, that's just how that map is. You know, not that much team fighting. So, you know, no team fights really, especially against only adept AI. Uh, I I guarantee you, it's gonna be different when I do quick match against actual people. But now, at least you have an idea of what his character is like. And uh, if you have enough essence, the amount of self-healing that you can do with essence collection is pretty awesome. Which, if you're able to do it right, um, can make him very tanky. But I don't know if he would be one of the ideal tanks in the game. But his Rush Stalker ability makes him just kind of like... Um, it's hard not to want to play him with an ability like that. So... Uh, I like Dehaka and I'm looking forward to playing him some more with that brush talk ability. I just am not really sure how he's going to hold up um, as a tank for your team. I don't know if he's really an ideal tank. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to play him in the ranked mode yet, but I don't know, think you can even play him right now uh, if you're just starting him now. So um, some changes have come about. I might do a separate video on that. So, uh, But until then, I will see you guys for the next hero that comes out. See you next time.